reported today in The Verge. Neon CEO explains the tech behind his overhyped artificial humans. The most buzzed about company at CES 2020 doesn't make a gadget you can see or touch. It doesn't even have a product yet. But for reasons I'm still not entirely sure I grasp, the lead up to this week's show in Las Vegas was dominated by a discussion of a project called Neon, which has emerged from a previously unknown Samsung subsidiary known as Star Labs. What Neon has been promising is so ambitious that it's easy to swing your expectations around full circle and assume the mundane. The project's Twitter bio simply reads artificial human, which could mean anything from an AI chatbot to a full-on Android. Promotional videos posted in the run-up to CES, however, suggested that Neon would very much be closer to the former. Neon equals artificial human. Yesterday, we were finally able to see the technology for ourselves. And they are, indeed, just digital avatars, albeit impressively realistic ones. We weren't able to interact with Neon ourselves, and the demonstration we did see was extremely rough. But the concept and the technology is ambitious enough that we were still pretty intrigued. To get a clear idea of the tech's limitations, check out this interaction between a CNET journalist and a Neon avatar. After a low-key event on the CES show floor, we caught up with Neon CEO Pran of Mystery to chat about the project. Even at a youthful-looking 38, Mystery is a tech industry veteran who's worked on products like Xbox hardware at Microsoft and the original Galaxy Gear at Samsung. It was completely my baby, from design to technology, he recalls of the early smartwatch. As VP of research at Samsung he later moved on to projects like Gear VR, but with Neon he's now spearheading an initiative without direct oversight from the parent company. Right now you can say that, Star Labs is, owned by Samsung, Mystery tells me. But that won't necessarily always be the case. There's no technology relation or product relation between what Star Labs does and Samsung. There's no Samsung logos anywhere, there's nothing to do with Bixby or any other product that's part of Samsung. Even what we're planning to show at CES, no one at Samsung other than me knows about it or can tell me not to do it. Mystery speaks at a thousand miles an hour, and one day I would very much like to sit down with him for a longer chat conducted at a less breakneck pace. At various points he invoked Einstein, Sagan, and Da Vinci in an attempt to convey the lofty goals he was aiming to achieve with Neon. It was never less than entertaining. My focus, however, was on figuring out how Neon works and what it actually is. The Neon project is, or as the company would say, Neons are, realistic human avatars that are computationally generated and can interact with you in real time. At this point, each knee for more on this story, visit the news article link.